Hi Aquarius, welcome to the very first energetic weather forecast uh, for your sign for October 2nd through the 8th. It's just a week and um, I think I will do these in between the lunar forecast. So it's just a little energetic check-in. This is your energy, what you can do with it, how you can work with it. It um, may have something to do with the outside world, but it's still how you're dealing with it and how you're moving through it. So the first column or the first card is your initiative energy. Okay, so it's the wands, it's the fire, it's the male outgoing, doing, got to get stuff done energy. And you have the two of wands. There is some contemplation here. I do feel like you're in your head quite a bit here. Um, but you're ready to push a new passion further. You are kind of wondering where it will belong in the, in the world, you know, in, in the larger world. Um, maybe you've uh, dealt with it in your community, but now you kind of want to push things further out. And you are doing a lot of considering. I do feel like it's very internal at the moment. But um, there could be partnerships, or you're wondering who to partner up with, or how you can partner your, um, your idea to um, something else. So this can be um, podcasts. You know, it's the world at large, so it's how to reach a wider audience, you know? YouTube, podcasts, um, Instagram, all that kind of thing. How can it reach a larger audience? And I think that's what you're going to be energetically um, busy with and inspired to do this, um, this week. So it's just at the first phase. And I think that's a fun phase. All right, and so your um, emotional energy is the five of cups five wants you to change so it's bringing you some instability so that you can change and um, some things maybe haven't worked out uh, in the past and have left you a little bit emotionally burdened and um, it's time to kind of let that go now uh, and discover some new ideas, new techniques, new approach on an emotional level. So you are inspired, but emotionally something has to switch. And it's about letting go of um, things that haven't worked out prior. So if you are busy trying to get something established, something started in the greater world, and you've tried it before and it didn't work, um, and it left you feeling a little bit raw, it's kind of time to put a Band-Aid on it and um, let it heal and keep going. <laughs> you just keep going. I mean... It's happened to me a lot, and I never say die. I just can't, because what would be the purpose? You just keep going. You just do something else. You just try a different approach. And so maybe there is um, uh, some social media that you've tried and it didn't work. Try a different platform. Don't give up. Five is pushing you, pushing you, pushing you emotionally to, um, to find that equilibrium, to find that balance. I would say that some um, social media platforms are better for others for specific things. So just try a few things out. But, uh, you know, it's okay to, to do that on a physical level. On an emotional level... It's, it's kind of like saying that's the way it is, you know? That's just, that's just what happened. It's, it's seeing things for what they are and then moving on. It's like a bridge you have to cross, an emotional bridge you have to cross. Step by step. Your mental um, acumen is the Four of Swords, so... Four of Swords is uh, a mental rest. 
So you could take some time out. And I think even though you are not, f because you're still at the very beginning of a situation, you may not be physically doing anything, but you are certainly making plans. And, um, and I think on a mental level, mentally you don't want to go there just yet. Mentally you need a rest. Uh, meditation would be fantastic for you at this time. And, um, and that will bring you a lot of insight. And it will also give you the rest that you need but also help you to put things in a planning stage. So you're just not flailing around trying to figure things out, but you actually get like a coordinated plan for yourself. And if, this is just coming in, but if there's nothing there, if there's no plan at the moment, just rest your head. It's just a week. You can do it. Just rest your head. Just find rest. Take naps. Can you take a nap? Get a little cat nap. If you get like five minutes during work or something, just close your eyes and take a cat nap. All the geniuses do. <laughs> okay. And so on a physical level, you're the king of pentacles. And this is my Gemini card. So, yeah. It's all about work for you. Uh, you are really super focused on it, um, and so you really do want to be busy. So I would say if you are physically busy, try and do something that isn't mentally taxing. Um, you know, let's say you're doing um, emails. You know, you can make one email, copy and paste it, and send it to a lot of people. It's not a lot of mental work. It's, it's more of the actual physical things, moving things around. But it's a big focus. It really is a big focus. Um, <clears throat> I would like to say that I would like you to focus on your physical body, but the King of Pentacles is about business. Um, so I do think that your physical body will be busy with business. And... Um, there's not much I can do about that. Uh, but I just think that uh, mentally you need a rest. So I'm hoping that this week you can do the physical part and leave the mental uh, difficult and emotional difficulty uh, on the side or find a balance for that. Um, because I think you're avoiding those things through your physical activity. Like you'd rather not deal with the emotional um, stuff or even the mental stuff. And you would just like to get busy. Just do things. Do you know what I mean? Just keeping yourself physically busy. Oh, the moon popped out. So, yeah, there can be some deceptions. You might be deceiving yourself somehow, thinking you have it all under control. But... Um, the emotions need to find some stability and the swords or the mental activity needs to find some rest. Here's your spiritual um, energy and that's transformation. Okay, So we're kind of finished with one phase or one situation um, in our life and we're preparing um, spiritually for something else. Uh, and that's rather vague as far as I'm concerned. That's very, um, yeah, something's transforming. What is it? Well, it could be health. And it can be um, inner, inner speak, how you speak to yourself, um, what you say to yourself in these difficult situations. Um, this is taming the beast within. So uh, I would suggest that you be your own cheerleader in this instance. Like, how would you speak to a child that you were trying to encourage? Do the same for yourself. 
you know. And I also say that because of the Gemini card. The Gemini card is about communication. So this is about self-communication, you know. Cheer yourself on. We're our worst enemy, but we're also our best friend. So be your best friend this week. All right. I hope this was helpful, Aquarius. Good luck in your endeavors. You, with the King of Pentacles, you're going to get shit done, that's for sure. Um, but make sure that you find that rest in between. And um, I will be back in a week with the Lunar Forecast. Uh, have a good week, and thank you for listening. Bye.